Hello everyone. Recently I've been thinking about releasing my Blender file for the renders that I do with all three cars. And I thought I'd make a quick tutorial alongside that, basically explaining what to do, how to upload your decals, um, what it looks like, etc, etc. So when you first open the Blender file, this is what you're greeted with. In the right panel here, you'll see a uh, folder for the cars. You have the Dominus, Fennec and Octane. The reason I've separated each into its own file is so that if you don't want to use a certain car, for instance, the Octane, all you do is click the box and it, everything disappears. Whereas if you wanted, if you was to use the eye, that would only get rid of the body. You'd have to expand the group and then go through all of them. Going down from that, you have the logo. I've made a uh, RLCS logo for the new eSports. <clears throat> um, again, if you want that shown, um, you can leave the box on. If you don't, you can tick the box and it will disappear. For the cameras, you have four cameras. You have the front, the left, the right, and a top view. And then underneath that, you have the floor and the light. So the floor is obvious, or is the floor. And then the light is just a simple uh, torus with an emission. So if I was to go into rendered view, this is how it would look. If I turn off all the overlays, you get a better idea of it. So going on from that, we go over to shading. If we click on one car, let's say the Fennec, <clears throat> what you have here is the material and the image being used. If you want to upload your own image, you click the open image folder icon and navigate to wherever your images are kept. Uh, as an example, so that's what it would look like. And if I start to upload another one, you get the idea. And that's the same for the Octane and Dominus. However, you have two extra materials per car. The first one is the glass, which you shouldn't really have to touch. Um, basically, it's just the windows for all the cars. And the third option is the colored. Now the colored refers to the car color. So in game you have crimson, uh, burnt sienna, forest green. And this is it here. So if you want to change it from this gray, click on base color and then change it to whatever you want. And I have linked it so that all cars have the same color. They share this material. So if you wanted to set up a full team decal render, you would simply open, click on one of the cars, make sure you're in slot one, open up your file folder and locate wherever your decals are. And you'll just go through one by one, selecting the decal. So they're all selected and then we can choose our body color so i'm going to go back to colored and basically I'm going to give this a gray look again we go black no we'll give it a gray look and then i'm going to click our camera view button and as i have the front camera selected this is what it will look like uh, if I wanted to do a top-down view, I'd select the camera icon next to the top camera. Then I would go into our viewport shading. And this is how it would look. You see your path, uh, your samples. 
and once this gets to a high number, you can normally do about a thousand. <clears throat> Depends how quickly you want it to render. A quick tip is if you zoom out a little bit, this number will increase a bit faster. And once this gets to a high number, this image will start to become a lot more clear. There won't be so much fuzz on there. As for the sample in itself, I've set this to a very basic level. Uh, you won't need to adjust anything in here, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, then again, you can set this up to however you like. What you can also do is if you select the light, you see the ring around the torus, or you see the highlight, um, the highlight of the torus itself. You can adjust this, you can adjust its position using the Z. You don't want to go down too far because then it'll get in the way of the camera. And that's what will happen there. If I do finish the Z, undo that. And if you come down to the material properties, you have the strength, which is the strength of the emission itself. So if I was to set this to three, see it's got uh, got a bit darker. If I was to set this to twenty, it's got a lot brighter. So again, that's all dependent on on uh, your preference. And with the sizing, you can adjust the X and Y. You won't really need to adjust the Z. The Z is how thick. It is if I come back into here. Um, so if I reduce the Z, you can see it gets in a lot thinner. It doesn't actually adjust the, uh, the size overall. If I was to come back into here, <clears throat> you can sort of if I go to the top, you can sort of see the ring of the torus or light. And adjust it down. Something else you have to keep in mind. There we go. Something like that. You can see how it's now. Uh, it, it's been. It's been. The size of it has been changed. <clears throat> also, the wheels themselves. All the wheels share the same uh, material. So whatever you change on one. It will change on all wheels. The same with the tire tread. They all have an image and a bump. You can adjust the strength of the bump. And there's not really much need to. Um, if you, it just depends if you want to get a more solid depth of feel. But all all wheels. The treads and the actual wheel itself share the same material. Another thing is if you don't want uh, a decal and you just want to change the color of the car, simply select the car, unlink the image, and then you have your base color uh, ready for selection. So when you come into viewport shading and you're satisfied with the amount of samples that have been calculated, you can go ahead and press F12 on your keyboard. This will then start the rendering process. Uh, what I will say is that for me personally, these lines um, sort of get in the way of how it looks. Now this does nothing. This is purely an overlay. This does, does nothing for your actual render. If you want to get a better look of it, just unclick show overlays and there you have a clean, uh, clean image. Something else is that all of these cars are linked or well, they're not linked together, but they're, they're linked. Um, so the body, the engine, the, the wheels. So if you want to move them, you can so just click on them. And you can then move them to wherever you like. And, and the same with the cameras as well. Um, you can move them. If I was to click on the front camera, you can see that's 
selected over here, you can then adjust that as well. The link to this Blender profile will be down in the description. I also have uh, some other Blender tutorials on how to create your own scene, which pretty much follows exactly how I made this. Uh, instead of importing one car, I've obviously done three, and you'll end up with the same, same looking scene. But I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you later. Peace out.